Welcome to New Possibilities. I speak truth to power without fear. So in the last hours of Donald Trump's presidency, he actually did something that was good. He commuted the sentence of the former mayor of Detroit, Kwame Kilpatrick. The brother Kwame Kilpatrick was at one point a rising star in the Democratic Party. He was doing some great things in Detroit, helping to turn around the city of Detroit. But he got caught up in several scandals and the brother had been sentenced for several crimes. And he was sentenced by the feds to 28 years in jail for um, engaging in racketeering and bribery. So this brother's sentence, as many people have pointed out, was excessive. You have many white politicians who commit all kinds of uh, illegal activity. Or you, know, you have uh, business, white business leaders who engage in fraud and other criminal activity, white collar crimes and all that kind of stuff. And they don't receive nowhere near the kind of sentence that this brother received. So this brother's, um, you know, received this excessive sentence of 28 years in jail. He's already served seven years in jail and President Trump has commuted his sentence. And that's a great thing because of these disparities that exist. Uh, because of the fact that here you have a brother who had great potential to do great things. And he has served seven years in jail. That's more than enough time uh, as a punishment for the crimes that he committed. Now, I don't think that he should ever be allowed to run for any kind of political office again after violating the public trust. But I think that this brother should be given a second chance, and I'm glad that the president gave him a second chance. You have people that actually commit murder. You have people who, who sell drugs, who do all kinds of uh, evil things in this world, and they don't receive nowhere near as long of a sentence as this brother received. So I'm glad that his sentence was commuted, and I hope that this brother can use this, this terrible situation as a lesson to educate young people. And according to the article, they talked about how this brother was teaching uh, Bible lessons in jail, and he was also teaching people about public speaking. So the brother was doing some positive things while he was incarcerated. And I hope that this brother, you know, once he's freed, that he will reflect on his situation and try to use it as an example to young people to guide them away from engaging in criminal activity. So, you know, I have to commend uh, Donald Trump for this act, you know, of commuting his brother's sentence. Uh, it's something that should have been done a long time ago. The brother should not have been sentenced to 28 years in jail. That's an excessive sentence for the crime that he engaged in. So tell me what you all think. Please rate, comment, subscribe, like the video, share the video, hit that notification bell so that you'll know when I post new content on here. Peace and blessings to each and every one of you. Have a great day.